Welcome to Canadian Domain Name Services Inc. registering a new .ca domain name. So the first thing we're going to look at is our homepage at cadns.ca. And if you come directly there, this is what you'll see. If perhaps you landed here from uh, Canadian Internet Registration Authority, uh, CIRA.ca search page, and you might end up here and you might have a domain already showing in the search field here. So we're going to uh, type a domain name that we want to register in here. And we're going to perform a search for that and it tells us that it's available and added to our list here. Next step would be to click on the little green plus button to add it to the cart. And we can see the cart up here, it's added. We can also view the cart by clicking on the button. Next, we want to determine how many years we want to renew the or register the domain name for. You can go up to 10 years. Uh, two years is a default. There's no price advantage in choosing more years, just the convenience factor of not having to worry about renewing it and making sure that you don't miss your renewal and securing your domain name for a long period of time. So let's just leave it at the default and choose checkout. So the first thing we want to do is create a new account, assuming that you don't already have an account. If you did and you wanted the domain name to be in the same account, you would log into account here. We're going to create a new account. And we're going to start off with a password. And it's going to force you to take a strong password and the minimum there would be eight characters. We're going to con going to continue to fill in the fields here. Uh, let's say Calgary here. Let's choose a postal code that matches the algorithm for postal codes and a phone number. Oops. And we need a valid email address because our system will actually check to make sure that we can connect to the mail server at that email address. A security question is in case you lose your password, you lost your account number, your phone number has changed, so we can't verify your identity that way. So uh, choose a, a question that you like and fill that in and we can identify you that way. So we're going to create the account and continue. And the next screen is the registrant contact. This is a legal quote owner of the domain name even though there is no such thing as ownership because the registry actually leases domain names to people. There's no such thing as ownership. So if all the information is correct, we just click on I agree to the registrant agreement. You can read the whole thing here. I'm sure everybody takes the time to do that. Ha ha. So uh, next step is going to be the administrative contact. This is sort of the legal entity that CIRA recognizes as being able to interact with the domain name if necessary. And if all the information is correct, uh, you don't want to change that. Let's click on next step. And we've got the same thing for the technical contact, and we end up on the payment page. Okay, uh, just a normal payment page. Put in your credit card, uh, name on the card, I should say, the credit card number, and the expiry date, and the CVV code on the back. Now, if by any chance you change your mind when you get to this step and you want to change the number of years, say, for instance, that you're going to register, you can just click on the cart again, and that brings up the cart, goes back to the cart section, and you will just change that to five years, and then we click on checkout again. Because we've already filled out all the registrant and admin contact and tech contact information, it, uh, the program knows that it just jumps us back to the payment page with the changed uh, number of years. So that's it for uh, registering a domain name with Canadian Domain Name Services at cadns.ca and look forward to watching some more of our help videos. Have a good day.